In this video, we are going to look at the tuning fork auscultation test to screen for suspected fractures. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Diagnosing fractures using an MRI or similar reference standards may not always be readily available in certain remote areas or other situations that nonetheless require clinical decision making. The method to diagnose fractures using a 128 Hz tuning fork and a stethoscope was proposed to solve this problem. Muguntan et al. from 2014 reviewed the current literature and report positive likelihood ratios ranging from 1.1 to 4.2 and negative likelihood ratios from 0.21 to 0.49. The included studies assessed for fractures in different bones and no conclusion can be made whether tuning fork tests detect fractures in one area more than another. Furthermore, the type of fracture has had big influence on the diagnostic accuracy. Stress fractures, avulsion and buckle fractures resulted in false negative results as they leave the bone injured but intact and do not impede sound conduction. Based on these results, the clinical value is moderate. In order to conduct a tuning fork or auscultation test, you'll have the patient in a comfortable position with the affected limb exposed. You're going to place the stethoscope on the bone proximal to the suspected fracture site and it's best to use a bony prominence. If there's swelling, place the stethoscope over the swelling. The tuning fork on the other hand will be placed distal to the suspected fracture. So to demonstrate, we will use the fibula. In this case, I will place the stethoscope on the head of the fibula. Then I will strike the tuning fork somewhere to make it vibrate and subsequently place it on the distal tip of the lateral malleolus. Carefully listen for 6 to 8 seconds whether you hear the sound conducted through the bone and compare it with the unaffected limb. The test is considered positive for a fracture if there is diminished or absent sound from the injured limb. The closed fist percussion sign is a valid test in the screening of vertebral fractures in the lumbar spine, which you can find out more about by clicking on the left. Check the links in the video description right below the like button for more info on this video's literature reference and how to follow us on other social media outlets, as well as links to our ebook and mobile app. Before you leave, make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on future uploads. It's completely free. Thank you for watching. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.